What is going on, you wonderful thought-having people, you? As always, I'm Jake from Give It Thought, and today's story is going to be a bit divisive. I just wanted to say that going in. But as always, I will try to end this thing on a positive note, so if this gets too murky, if you stick around, I promise it'll pay off. So let's take a look at this allegedly racist or uh, reverse racist developer from Bioware. So this story started getting some traction yesterday when some smaller news outlets started sharing this petition from change.org titled Remove Manvir Air from his position at EA Games. If anyone wants to go check that out, there's a link in the description. Just be warned, change.org petitions always work. So know that before you even look at the petition. But as the petition said, the guy's name is Manvir Air and he is a gameplay designer for Bioware and is currently working on the upcoming Mass Effect Andromeda. And he has landed himself in some hot water with his very outspoken tweets. The first one that people are constantly pointing out is this one from over two years ago that says, I follow too many white dudes. So if you get called tough shit, blame the dominance on your species slash race slash gender. And there's this one, white people. I am not here to make you feel comfortable or okay with yourself or the white supremacy you benefit from. That one was from about a year ago. There's many more if you want to go comb through them, but to be fair to the guy, he is harassed on Twitter pretty regularly. I mean, just look at this sickening tweet. I'll get you eventually. We will meet at a gaming event, then I'll see what you have to say to my face. You probably won't have time. And this one. Why don't you move to a brown country if you hate whites so much? I actually did like his reply to this one, which was, I did move to a brown country. What do you think Thanksgiving is about, you dummy? That one was actually pretty good. And as we know, this guy works for Bioware, and it looks like he has the company's blessing. He tweeted out this, which was deleted, so sorry for the weird boxes and lines, but he said, Big thanks have to go to Aaron Flynn and Yannick Roy, who are incredibly supportive of letting me speak on things. The tweet has been deleted, so make of that what you will, but it does seem that Bioware is fine with what he is saying. And if you didn't know who Aaron Flynn is, he's Bioware's general manager. And Yannick Roy is the studio director for Bioware in Montreal, where Manvir Air works. So it's not like these are his buddies from the next cubicle over that are supporting him. These are big deal dudes in the company. And on a side note, I love that. Normally, companies are so quick to drop anyone who gives them any trace of bad press. You have to commend Bioware for standing up for their employees. I'm not saying what he is tweeting about is right. I just like to see some responsibility on behalf of corporations. You don't see that too much. The funny thing about this is, a big running theme in Mass Effect is racism. The fact that a developer for the game has found himself in a racist controversy is ironic, or at the least, a little too fitting. So is Manvir Air racist? or reverse racist, or whatever arbitrary title someone wants to assign to him. Truth is, I don't know. And I'm not saying that to play it safe. I'm saying it because the most I know of the guy is my brief glimpses at his Twitter page. I would imagine he is a pretty cool guy. I mean, he is working on arguably one of the best franchises in video game history. He has to have some kind of chops to get a job like that. What I'm trying to say here is, we should not be so quick to judge. If his normal life plays out like his Twitter feed, I could not blame him for thinking the way he does. If people were constantly harassing me, and all they had in common was the color of their skin, oh, and the absence of a conscience, I might be a little racist too. The only critique I have of him is that you won't get anywhere fighting racism with more racism. You do it with love, and I hate to sound like some hippie from the 60s, but it's true. You don't get a stain out of your clothes by rubbing more dirt into it. You use the opposite, a fragrant, flowery soap, and a washing machine. And don't get me wrong, racism is a huge problem. This day and age, it is absurd that it exists. Even more absurd than me talking about it on a gaming channel where I have no business doing so. But that's the beautiful thing about games. Whether it is the games themselves or something going on in the industry, they give us the opportunity to learn about ourselves through something we can relate to. And that is invaluable. And on that note, I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up. So tell me what you think about all this. Is Air in the wrong for tweeting things like that? Or do you see it as a fitting response to our Western society? I'd love to talk with everyone about it down below, but I think that's where I'm going to end things today. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you have to do. Hit that like button for me, and if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button too? It'll put you first in line for all the upcoming gaming news, and tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a video over the top five PS4 mods for Fallout 4, so stay tuned for that. But I think that's about it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, give thought to everything.